Anyways, welcome back. I did a screw around video with Thorgal. Might upload it, might not. I think I may actually use him as my just faff about learning to actually survive in PvP character. I haven't decided yet. Oh god, I forgot to leave this place. First things first, time to kill myself. Kill me faster, damn it. That time. As I said before, I always do my runs hollowed, that way I don't have to deal with invasions. way to find it is to just look for that damn giant wheel. I need to get out of here. This place sucks. ladder I actually fell off last time when I lost my other ring of sacrifice. Uh, first time I've ever been killed by those damn mosquitoes. I still hate myself for letting that happen. figured out um, how well Sens is going to go, I might actually use that Divine Crossbow that I made, simply because of the magic damage it'll get through enemy's guard. A lot better than uh, just my standard heavy crossbow will. Ways down it. Oftentimes they'll walk straight off the ladder, trying to get to you. Come on, fall off, please. Well, shit. This is. Good. Eh, I suppose that works.
I had a choice to light town, I'd burn you to the ground. I don't care if you are a swamp, I'd find a way. <laughs> Digging. The stagger actually seems to be based off the bolts, in part, or for the most part, not the crossbow. I'm not sure if that's true or not now. As you can see, quite a bit of poison build up from that. And with full plus six. Elite Knight, I still took quite a good chunk of damage, er, health and damage. Cease to be, please. Still no weapon drop. Pity. Whatever. I'm leaving. I'm never coming back here. At least not until my other character gets here. I still have a melee weapon at that point. Let us never speak of Bite Town again. <laughs> Fucking hate Bite Town. We're created, it needs to go die in a fire. And I doubt I'm the only one with those sentiments. Have to do that whole run again. That would have sucked. Right, the solo quillag. I didn't explain what that can be used for. If you used, say, a skimtar or falchion at plus ten, you get quillag's fury sword. And if you use a katana class weapon at plus ten, you get the chaos blade. Both are actually pretty good. They have the chaos effect, which means they have fire damage that scales with humanity but they have additional stat scaling as well, though the Chaos Blade has a downside to it. You lose a little bit of health every time you hit something. I'm not sure if it's every time you swing or every time you actually impact an enemy with it. As you can see, ran by the Fire Keeper's gone, and the fire is now out. You cannot relight it. Did you ring the second bell? That is incredible, I must say. But now... We have a new problem. It's noisy, it snores, and its breath is lethal. This is no laughing matter, I tell you. I if he actually pops up yet. Yeah, meet Kingseeker Frant. Ah, hello. Was it you who rang the bell of awakening? I am the primordial serpent. King Seeker Frant, close friend of the great Lord Gwyn, chosen undead, who has rung the bell of awakening. With a big ass nose for I a wish snake. To elucidate your fate, do you seek such enlightenment? Very well, then I am pleased to share. Chosen undead, your fate is to succeed the great Lord Gwyn. So that you may link the fire, cast away the dark, and undo the curse of the undead. To this end, you must visit Anor Londo and acquire the Lord Vessel. Let's see. I don't know if you can sell to him I immediately. I am pleased to see you well. Is it some... Ah, yes you can. The selling in this is pretty basic. You just feed him items. You don't get really all that much for them, but remember that copper coin? That's the only use it has. Thousand souls. Um, right, way more than 15 green titanite shards. But I think that's just what I have on hand. Yeah. No? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. I usually try and keep a copy of each weapon on hand, just as, or in storage, I should say. Just for completion sake. As you can see, 
they don't sell for much, but with all the looting you do throughout the game, it actually adds up quite a bit. Sorry I'm spending so much time doing this. Just trying to get as many extra souls as I can. The special armor sets are obviously worth quite a good deal more. Especially stuff like the dingy set. That's going to skirt. All the stuff attached to that. You have to go through a special quest line to get it. That's no, really easy to activate. It is kind of a pain to uh, finish, unfortunately. Yeah. And to get your small titanite shards, like I had mentioned, just feed them a green shard. It says one, but you actually get five. Same. <laughs> it's more worthwhile to feed them the uh, green shards, break them into five smalls, and then feed them the smalls, than it is to feed them the greens. Interesting. I suppose that's enough of that. Ray is now gone. Uh, oh, you again? Me? Uh, I've become separated from my lady. I've scoured near and far, but no sight of her. Where could she have gone? My lady, to think I swore to protect you with my life. <laughs> you didn't do a very good job, guy, considering what you did. Your Highness, where have you gone? I am entirely to blame for this. Oh, woe is me. I am unworthy, deathly so. Oh, I'm sorry. Miracles, was it? Sometimes I lose myself. Pay me no mind. At this point, you do not have to be in the Covenant to get miracles from him. And, yeah. Homeward is essentially a homeward bone that you can use whenever you want. And you don't have to actually buy them over and over and over. But as you can see, it's kind of expensive, and it requires more faith than I've got. Force doesn't actually do damage, but it reflects projectiles if you time it right, and it can knock things around pretty easily. Seat Guidance, I've never actually used, so I have no idea what it does. I think it just resets text on the ground, as in what it's displaying. I really should use more of the random crap. Oh, crap. I can't believe I haven't actually tested that. Um, yeah. Sense is gonna suck. I hate this place. But not as much as Blight Town. I think the reason it's gonna suck so much is because I'm using a freaking crossbow. stashing some so I can buy some extra. I'm going to stash a couple hundred and max mine back out. 
just because some of the areas are actually quite long before your next merchant. The main reason is for Anna Orlando. More bolts I have in storage before I go there. The better. Well, you need me. Left, going into standard. Don't get you. Still don't have 500 of them, but whatever. Don't really care. Those will come in eventually. Now, as you can see over there, the gate is open. I already did that. And the, uh, I'm going to switch to the divine bow, just so I can do a little more damage through their high physical defense, especially against thrusting weapons. <sighs> I hate this place. Everything here has way too much defense. And that little raised pressure plate, there's actually a reason I avoided it. What you do, you lure them towards it, then trigger it. And it does quite a bit of the work for you. Ah, crap, their shield's good against that. As you can see, these guys keep their shields up most of the time. They do quite a bit of damage. Oh, I think these guys are more actually just tanks. Let's see if the heavy crossbow does do more on them. But seriously, a man servant greatsword on the first one. That's kind of funny. This is another of the popular great swords to use because it has good scaling when upgraded. I don't remember how high it goes, unfortunately. Great warrior. Unequip that. Okay, and... Welcome to why it is called Sen's Funhouse. At least, why I call it that. What you may not notice is there's a snake guy right up there. And one all the way down at the end. Oops. What I want to do is hit the one down all the way at the end, try and piss him off so he runs down through. Those blades will hit him and knock him off the platform and get him out of the way. That way I don't have to run back through with uh, him chasing me. Seriously, just not hit him? Ah, but that's why. I'm way off. <laughs> Sorry about the show of fail. Come over here, dumbass. Is he going to make it through the blades? Oh, nope. Now, if you wait a little bit, he's going to come up to around the top and hop down. Unfortunate, but I'd rather fight him here than on that thin ass walkway with those swinging blades. Because if you get dropped down there, there's crap you don't want to deal with all at once down there waiting for you. Three Titanite demons, all in muck, that slows you way the hell down. Great fun. I hear him. There he is. Took you long enough, jackass. Now, I don't actually remember how to get to some of the items here. Nope. Seems the Divine Bow is better. Ow. Okay. Divine Crossbow it is for now. No range difference, it's just a little bit lighter. Stutter bad. Stutter very bad for this place. Oftentimes there will be messages saying where it's safe to stop, and just don't stop on the bloodstains. It's the best advice I can give. Let's see, I know there's more of them around here. Jackass. Can't get to him from up here effectively, unfortunately. This place is full of traps, and it's just genuinely not 
pleasant place to be. Usually pick him off from outside using a bow, but I have that option. This is gonna be interesting. You little bastard. Blocking actually makes your hitbox a little bigger. As you can see, he's more frail than the other snake guy. But he's quite a bit more annoying. And, yeah, it's a trap. From this point on, I will be attacking the chests. There is a trick to um, get the item out of the Mimic without killing it. I may show that off, I may not. A lot of players also like to use this room with the uh, camouflage spell. Or chameleon, there we go. Which one is it? Is this the one? No. And they will sit in that room back there in disguise. You can ignore him. There's a reason for that. Hi, guy. Bye, guy. won't come after you unless you hit him if memory serves. Damn it. Cross will suck. Cross will really suck here. <laughs> So many enclosed spaces. Now, as you can see, boulders come by at regular intervals. Uh, and there's Sigmire over there. And two of these jackasses, unfortunately. for using on their own guys. I'm just gonna wait for the boulder again. And it is important that you talk to him in every area as I had stated, so mm. 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 Oh ho! Ah where did you come from? Send you as I tell you. <laughs> Item up above is the Shotel. It's good for PvP because if you use the heavy attack on it, it ignores guard. Or shields, I should say. I've run up against the wall for a ball, to be precise. I'm afraid I'm a bit too tough to be up running those things. So here I sit and fight a little, but who knows? Perhaps we'll have another development. <laughs> Why is there a bolt floating off my crossbow? Anyways, it's probably from someone that fell down not knowing the two snake guys were there. Or having forgotten. Either one. To get the show tell, you just run up here and hop down. But I'm not going to be picking it up. Since I'm kind of doing a restricted run. <laughs> Not a boss fog. As you can see, there's a jackass up there that throws lightning. You ain't very bright. Dumbass. Those swords actually cause quite a bit of bleed buildup if they hit you. Ow. 
where they do drop them at a low chance. Up here. This ring of steel protection. This does. Increases all your physical defenses by around 50. Fortunately, I wouldn't even be able to medium roll, so... No bueno. I'll be switching to light roll shortly, just to get to a uh, spot quicker. trap in that little hallway that'll shoot you from behind. That's why I uh, tried to lure him out to see if he could set it off. Those bolt traps are extremely painful. Generally, if you get caught in it, it's either going to kill you or screw you over so severely that you have to heal immediately. Tight spaces, lots of annoying enemies, traps everywhere. Ah, yeah. What you do is just set it off, immediately turn around with your shield up, and you're alright. That noise you just heard is the boulder trap turning. steel protection is that will bounce you back and forth. I've had it happen four or five times. And it sucks. <laughs> I was just trying to reduce the damage from it as much as possible. Now, remember that snake guy I mentioned earlier? first present. Or in order here, I should say. Yeah, that was him getting hit in the face with the water. There's actually a wall behind him that you can break that leads to where Big Hat Logan is. He's just gonna stand there and die, by the way. That's why I completely ignored him. Yeah, that's trapped. But at the moment, what I wanna do actually all the way down to the bottom of this. Mind you, you actually have to go to the bottom before it'll, uh... I'll show you how to get down in a second. But before it'll let you open it. Come all the way down. And you see this. Now, right over here, this leads to the lightning spear. I've got no interest in it. But the reason I went down there was so I'd actually have registered as seeing that hole. This is where boulders were going before, however, it's not full. I'm gonna turn the track and solve that. Because that leads to something incredibly helpful. Here. Not a very good place to fight him with a crossbow. But, when is everything? 
or anything ever set for fighting with a crossbow. <laughs> Please, thank you. Get that. And you can come right over here. And oh, I finally died. That gets you the black sorcerer set and hush. Now, there's a ring somewhere in this place that causes hush permanently. As long as you have it equipped, basically, it eliminates all your movement noise. I don't remember if it eliminates your roll sound. And the Black Sorcerer stuff is basically just a lighter, weaker version of the Sorcerer starter set. This puts you. Where does this drop you off? Uh, right above the boulder trap, was current direction. <laughs> that as a quick way to get to Logan. As I said, I won't be setting it free. There are a couple secret doors in here, and just are illusionary walls, I suppose I should call them, in Sens, but I don't remember where they are. And, yeah. Just try and get as close as you can to over there to cut off any fall damage you would have taken. I may hate this place, but I've been here quite a few times, so I'm at least used to it. But what you want to do is let it run for about six, seven more boulders, I think it was, after you've gone down there and visited it to check. let enough go by, just turn it to that spot uh, right over here, where the boulders are harmless. And you can head down. And if you go less, er, rescue Logan at this point, you have to have the master key to open his cage, and then you have to run past the boulder trap to get up here again, or something like that. So I generally don't do that until I've got the uh, bonfire tagged, so I can just homework bone back to it. And when you're coming back down here, the reason the uh, trap doesn't change directions again is as long as you don't go into that hallway that you initially came out of to get into this little spot. As you can see, enough of gone in there that they've broken the wall. And right here, Covetous Gold Serpent Ring. Adds 200 to your item discovery. Probably the best item in here, in my opinion. <laughs> Though the Lightning Spear is useful if you're going to either... Or you either have low stats and need a effective weapon on the Serpents. It does work on the Serpent guys here. But it takes Titanite chunks to reinforce it. Or if you... Uh, need to demodify it at a blacksmith to get a plus 10 spear to turn into a boss soul weapon. This trap, kind of a bastard, I got caught in this once, just make sure you enter onto it real slowly and you won't get shot by it. You can supposedly roll through it with fast roll and not get hit, but I've never done it that way. the one. And actually going to equip a ring of sacrifice here. But with this one, as the little message there suggests, you literally have to run through all of them at once. This is a 
terrible place to be. Probably going to die. Around that corner is another of those lightning throwers. Really should have killed that man before I came up. I'm trying to hurry so I wouldn't have to fight him, but as you can see, hurrying in this game is a terrible idea. Generally results in getting swarmed. What the hell is with the freaking mist crap? <laughs> I'm lucky to have survived that. Now, this is another bastard room. Right around the corner, as you can see, is that guy. He will throw lightning bolts at you and knock you straight off the platform if you're not careful. You can lure him out like I inadvertently did and pick him off with a ranged weapon or shoot around the corner at him. Where that note is, or messages on the floor, that's where you want to stop. It's the only spot there you can be safe. This trap is a little unique. It actually resets. Basically, it acts like a seesaw with that other uh, spot right over there. Nah, nothing over here, just where we killed that guy. And a hole. But, yeah. As you can see, there are two pressure plates linked to it. And, yeah. It kind of sucks. But... Most of Sen's fun house completed now. Down to the right. Well, might as well show where it is. It's actually something I kind of want down here. For the section up ahead, in case I screw up. I haven't seen them in a while, have we? <laughs> I don't know what the hell he's doing. ones are a lot stronger than the previous batch. At this point, I don't actually need the Divine Crossbow anymore, because there are no more Snake Men. These are now the standard enemies. No clue what just died there. And right over here is what I came over. flame stone plate ring. But there's a reason for that. Now, can't see him from here, but... Let's see. Still can't see him. That's the giant over there that was dropping those boulders down. He unfortunately respawns. That jackass. As you can see, they hurt. You can shoot them with a poison arrow and walk away. Basically, you want to run through as fast as you can. Shots. Now, I'm going to tag this. This is the first or the bonfire in Sen's Fortress, and I'm going to cut the video here running for quite a while. The next part will be finishing this damned place off. Get straight first. I want to be able to use a better shield. Anyways, with that... next part.